Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. Uh, today I thought it would be fun to share all my Christmas decorations and stuff that are crochet. I think I did this the last two years, but there's been some new ones added. And if you didn't see it last year, um, you know, you can see it now. So I'm going to turn you around and go through my living room and areas where all, um, all my crochet stuff is. And show you uh, all the stuff I've made over the last couple of years to decorate our house with. Okay, this first thing hanging right here, this is hanging in our hallway. It is meant to be a garden flag, like for your yard, <laughs> but we don't have a yard because we live in an apartment. So it is a Heidi Yates pattern. It is a paid for pattern and it's called Build a Holiday Flag by Heidi Yates, who is also Snappy Tots. And uh, she, it comes with this pattern right here and it also comes with a way to make different snowmen faces and stuff. But I like this with the tree and the little reindeer. <laughs> Super cute. I'm pretty sure all this is Red Heart because this is when we first moved in. And that's pretty much all I used at the time. And I did actually back it with some felt chunks. Ignore that mark on the wall. <laughs> but I just kind of cut it just to make it thicker. And so that you couldn't see the wall through the crochet. Um, you don't have to do that. It's just something I like to do. I just have it hanging with a dowel and um, one of them... Things that's not supposed to pull off the paint, but it does anyways. <laughs> this next one, this is a wreath I have hanging in my hallway also. Underneath a map of a game called Skyrim. <laughs> but um, this wreath, I actually didn't use a pattern for this. I did see a picture for one on Pinterest, but I couldn't get it to link to the pattern. So I just winged it. I thought it was easy. So what I did is there is a wreath form uh, behind this. I think it's a 12 inch. And I just crocheted basically like a scarf, a white scarf, and just uh, sewed it around it. I don't know if I can show you where it's sewn at. You can kind of see the seam right there. Oh, my pinky's out right there. Uh, so I just sewed it around there, and then I made a ball <laughs> with a Y. I did button eyes and stitched on a mouth. And this is just like a, it's supposed to be a carrot, and it's a really off center, but that's okay. And then I made the hat, which was pretty easy. I don't know, I'm sure there's patterns for it and some holly and the scarf is just like a tiny little scarf and it happened to pull really cool <laughs> but this is all red heart too I think it's called uh, Miss uh, what is this called I can't remember it's red heart <laughs> but yeah so this I didn't use a pattern but there are similar patterns out there I've seen them since I did this I think I made that last year okay I also have this uh, Christmas light garland hanging I made this one for me and I also made one the same size for my sister. This is another free pattern. Um, it's a free download, I think, from our Ravelry. It's from Jean Herman, and all the links will be below. I don't know if I said that. But this is that pattern. It's just I did increase it to make it bigger, uh, which is super easy. The, the actual pattern comes out small, pretty small. So I just kind of increased it a little. I think I used a bigger hook to make it, uh, to, to make them larger. <laughs> I love that. I usually hang it on this thing right here, which is what we call the mantle. But I just hung it up here this year. And then up here is a mistletoe ornament I thought was super cute. Uh, I got it for free too online somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. All the links will be below. I just said that. But I can't pronounce the person who wrote that. Okay, this little amigurumi has been in the back of some of my videos. His color is kind of off because of these lights right here. <laughs> but it is dark outside, so I can't really turn them off without it being dark in here. But he is a paid-for pattern by Mary Smith, and it's called Winky the Elf Noggin Pal. <laughs> That's a Christmas ornament I gotta hang up. I just bought it the other day. But it's super cute. She has a bunch of these little uh, noggin patterns. They're just little balls, really, with stuff on them. <laughs> super cute little pattern. He did have a bell on his hat but Jesse uh, I think I made this in 2017 and Jesse was really small and he ripped it off this one is a Magrimi pattern called Perry the Puddin by Hannah Cooper it was a free pattern and I made this this is one of the first Amigurumis I made after we moved in here I kind of wish I hadn't put the eyes on there I wish I just left them off but it is in the pattern but um he's still super cute I love this I love Christmas pudding the image of it I've never actually had it <laughs> but I love the image of it so it's cute Okay, this afghan hangs out on our couches. I use it a lot. I sometimes have it draped, you know, nicely over the back of the couch, but I've been using it lately. But it was a free pattern by the Crochet Crowd, and it's called the Scandinavian Snowflake Afghan. And I love this. I made this the year that I was pregnant, so I think it was 2015. There's something on it right there. Let's just pretend you didn't see that. I was trying to show you the border. <laughs> ah, it's stuck on there. Alright, we'll blame that on Jesse. 
I love the border. So I was trying to show you. <laughs> Over here by our front door, we have a Santa and an elf <laughs> and a bunch of crochet stuff right there, hats and stuff. But these are both paid for patterns by Mary Smith. And I think it's just called Santa Amigurumi and Elf Amigurumi or something similar to that. And uh, they're paid for, paid for patterns and I love them because they're big. All right, above our window, we have a wreath hanging up. And the wreath is a free pattern by, um, I love to be in stitches. And it is called, you're a mean one, I think. It's just the wreath and the Grinch, actually, his face. I did do a separate heart pattern, and the bow up there is a separate pattern. I can't remember what they are, but I found them free forever ago, a couple of years ago. But I just put them all together. I thought they were cute. And that actually won a blue ribbon at the fair in 2017, I think, or 2018. I can't remember. <laughs> now for the ornaments. This one down here is a Christmas pudding. And I couldn't find the exact one that I made, so I found one similar. And it's called the Christmas Pudding by Loopy Lou Designs. And right beside it is a giant Santa. Look how big it is. This is my hand. <laughs> it came out huge. I used the wrong size yarn. I used worsted and it's supposed to use DK. But it is called, the, it comes in a set and it's called Christmas Ornaments by a name I can't say. So it will be linked below. <laughs> It'll be the second ornament linked below. And then up here is a little robin. And it is called Christmas Robin by Jessica Felton. And then this one, I made this the day of the solar eclipse in 2017. I made that morning before we left to go view it. So I made a Christmas ornament out of it just so we could remember that. And it's called Solar Eclipse by Once Upon a Yarn. Down here we have a Christmas bell, and it did have a bell in it, but again, Jesse ripped it out. It's called Christmas Bell Ornament by, oh, I didn't write down who it was from. <laughs> I, it'll be linked below. I, I missed that part, I guess. All right, right here is a Christmas wreath that I made. Super cute. Now, this pattern, I couldn't find it. Like, it was unavailable. Uh, the website was completely gone, so uh, it was a free pattern at one time. But um, I guess the person who wrote it deleted it because it's not available anymore. And then right here, I made this cute sheep. It's called the Festive Sheep Ornament. And it is by Fiberflux. I made this for the county fair one year. It didn't win, but it's still adorable. At the top of my tree, I do have a, a giant mistletoe. It has a face on it, but it's facing the wrong way. But that mistletoe is by Riot of Daisies. And it'll be linked below. And then right down here by the Grinch <laughs> is my snow globe I made recently from Repeat Crafter Me. And then the last one is a s'more that I made quite a while ago. I think I was pregnant when I made that. And it's called S'more Ornament by Whistle and Ivory. Ivy. Whistle and Ivy. <laughs> there are a couple more on here. Like right here's one that was gifted to me last Christmas season. And this one I made it from a stocking pattern. I couldn't find this, the right one, but it's just like a basic stocking pattern. <laughs> really easy. 2319 is a Disney thing. If you're a Disney fan, you know what that is. If you're not, it's just a weird stocking with 2319 on it. And then I made another one of those stockings over here. And it's just a Christmassy one. And then this one, I did enter it into a fair. Oh, I just saw another one I forgot. <laughs> but I entered this into a fair a few years ago and it won blue ribbon. But I made it from an old, like, 1970s crochet book that I have, so I can't link the pattern. And also right here, this is Turtle Doves, and I'll try to find the pattern. I completely forgot about it, but it'll be linked below, too. That's kind of a joke, because they're turtles with wings, so the Turtle Doves. Alright, I think that's all of the uh, Christmas decorations I got. I actually haven't made a lot this year. I will be making a Christmas tree skirt. I'm working on it now, but I'm not done with it. I actually had one last year, but it was too small. So I think that's everything. I just thought I would share it because I've had some people ask about my ornaments and stuff when they see them in the background. So I thought I'd just glob them up in one place <laughs> so that you guys can find them. And all the links will be in the description box. And a couple of them I couldn't find so I did link similar ones. Um, just because some of them are patterns I've probably had for a long time and then they've just been deleted and stuff over the years. But I hope that you like some of these and if you need any help with any of them, uh, let me know and I'll try to help you. <laughs> Bye guys.